Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. But if you want, can we try again? Try again? Oh yeah. Okay, so I just woke up and I showered. Obviously, I didn't wash my hair because it's not hair washing day. I don't know why, but I'm like so tired today. I think I woke up like an hour earlier than usual, but like an hour is that really gonna make me feel this tired? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I'm pretty sure someone upstairs is like using a hammer or something. So I have a subscription to BarkBox for my doggo and I wanted to open it on camera. This angle is pretty rough. So that's what it looks like. It says home for Thanksgiving. What in the... I like, does anyone know what this is? Cause I don't. And then we have a turkey moment here. We got some chicken stick recipe made with real chicken. Clucky jerky sticks chicken recipe. Baba biscuits lamb recipe with cheddar cheese. I gotta admit, I'm kind of shook that they didn't give like turkey snacks. Toy? Oh my god, is that toy? She smells. You know what it is? Because normally we would have the time of our life. She's currently smelling her new... Oh my god! Normally we would be playing with fetch, but she said, food first, play later. Who's ready for a torrid moment? So I got some torrid. Figured I would do a haul. Y'all, <laughs> I was literally about to say I don't like floral, but got floral currently wearing floral you know what? i think i like a certain type of floral so this dress called out to me because mainly the top part like i love material like this it looks so good it's just the floral i like i don't mind this type of floral so much this one is a little bit girlier than i wanted kind of grandma vibes but it's the top that sold me and this is the back has some tie going on so I'm not sure this is gonna fit me. So if it doesn't, then it's a good gold dress. Look how stunning. Again, I really go for like top moments. Like the model's boobs look really good. Not saying mine will, but maybe I could do a try on haul for you guys. I will not be trying on these undies though. I mean, I will in private, but these are so adorable. They're like silky. The color is like stunning. This is on the back, like high. Okay, so years ago, Torrid always sold purses, but they like kind of stopped. But y'all, there was a Betsy Johnson purse on the website. The day it was put on there, I was like, I need it. You guys ready? I said I didn't like floral. Y'all, I promise floral is not my favorite, but look how cute. I love the plaid. Sometimes I love a bigger purse, other times I like them smaller. So I'll be able to hold it like this, or I can hold it over my shoulder once this is like opened and untied and all that. Just look at that though. It is honestly gorgeous. Okay, are we gonna do a try on haul? I think we're gonna do a try on haul. We need lights on. How is my island already dirty and I literally just cleaned it? Wait a minute. I think I love it. I know a lot of you don't really care for floral on me, but something about this whole presentation, kind of obsessed. And she has pockets. So this is how it looks. Soup's cute. Y'all, <laughs> it fit. 70 something pounds ago, this would not have worked out. Look at this part. Like I'm obsessed with this, the lace, just like how it goes up to my neck. I am obsessed. All right, you guys ready for the underwear trial haul? Okay, you guys, so I don't get to check my PO box often. And when I do, I get so happy when I see letters from you guys. I have at least 50 letters from you guys and I just love it so much. But the recent letters I got, I do want to give you guys shout outs. I should have done shout outs for all of them, but that was like back when I was doing live streams and I never really thought about adding that to my live streams. But I want to give a shout out to Juju, to Jenna, and to Leanne. I appreciate you three so very much. Alexa, tell me a joke. Where do you put an argumentative fighting fish? Where? It's in debate a bowl. <laughs> Alexa, tell me a pun. I tried to write a joke about a portobello, but there was mushroom for improvement. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, you guys, something crazy kind of happened. So I went to go check the mail and usually people get like these stupid little things in the mail and you literally just throw them away. You don't think anything about them. But right here, it said, claim your prize, everyone wins. So I said, okay, how do we do it? So it said you could either win an ATV, $2,000 in cash, $500 in cash, wireless Bluetooth earbuds, and $100 in cash. And it says that everyone wins. So I'm just like, what? So it turns out that there's 75,000 people who are going to win. There's 75,000 of these. Everyone is going to win an earbud, except for one person's going to win an ATV, one person's going to win $2,000, one person's going to win $500, and one person's going to win $100. So I scratched this right here. And guess what? The number I got is the one for $2,000. So so um, the universe is on my side. I just won $2,000 out of 75,000 people. Hi guys, let's have a cozy, like chilling in bed moment. I do want to talk to you guys about something. So I wasn't sure if I want to talk about this, but I feel like mainly I want to because I want to share like my whole thought process, my journey with it. So this is about weight loss surgery. And I know just a couple weeks ago, I said this. Are you still planning on getting weight loss surgery? The answer is pretty simple. Why would I need weight loss surgery if I'm doing it on my own right now? Some people think I'm not losing weight as fast as I should, which I totally understand, but sometimes it's like slow and steady wins the race. If I can lose weight without surgery, then that's what I'm gonna do. So currently in this moment, no, I am not interested in weight loss surgery. And you know what? I stand by the fact that yes, I am doing this now. I'm succeeding in weight loss now. I'm thriving in that area, but it's like, what about my future? Sometimes I feel like you need to focus on your future as well as your present. I've tried this whole weight loss thing. 
literal years first diet was when i was like 11 and i've done nothing but gain weight like i'm not trying to knock the progress i've already made like i'm down over 73 pounds which i'm so happy about but there's honestly more that i need to lose i need to lose hundreds of pounds and i feel like i'm gonna need help so i have thought more about this and i did talk to someone really close to me i like to hear other people's like opinions on things especially someone that i care about and that i'm close to so am i getting weight loss surgery it's a possibility i currently am like taking the first step and i have a telehealth appointment with the surgeon in january i'm honestly super excited for the appointment if i do end up doing the surgery i will be self-pay so i'm gonna have to be saving money which brings a whole other like stressful situation because it costs around like $25,000 and that number is daunting and terrifying but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that like I am taking this weight loss so seriously it's not even funny and if getting weight loss surgery is going to help me and save my life then I can't think of a single reason why that shouldn't be an option and something more that I look into okay guys so it is time for comment of the day and today's comment is from dun 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 Allison G and they said I have cucumbered. I'm pretty sure this is what they're talking about. And I've also been trying to pickle some things. Like I've pickled cucumber, which yes, is pickles. And then I have cucumbered onion. And then I have cucumbered onion. So I literally did not even notice that I said that. I did not even notice it when I edited it. I only noticed it when I was reading the comments. And I was like, oh my God, that's so embarrassing. I meant to say that I pickled cucumber. I pickled onion. And I pickled jalapenos. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.